Thanks for choosing to watch the video. This one is about me grayling fishing, but first we got some business to take care of in terms of giving away a reel. I've decided just to do that at the start. Of course, you've got to promise to watch the rest of the video, uh, but we are going to give away a reel. Just as a reminder, we're giving away a speedy sale reel to a subscriber that was picked completely at random, and that subscriber is Mark Boyd. So Mark, send me a message through Facebook or Instagram. There are links in the description of the video. If you're really struggling to get hold of me, then just quickly put in a comment, uh, maybe against this video, and uh, I'm sure we'll be able to connect one way or another and get that reel to you. But again, I wanna thank everyone that has subscribed to the channel. Thanks for your support. It's really appreciated. And uh, yeah, the channel just seems to be going from strength to strength. But back to the fishing, and this video is about my mission to catch my first grayling. This actually goes back over a year uh, to last October when I decided that I was going to visit the River Test and try and catch a grayling on a fly. Uh, that turned out to be quite a frustrating day. All I caught was trout. I caught about five of them, I think, and, and no grayling. So fast forward a year to a couple of months ago, I went back to the test with my fly rod Again, I caught a few trout and then this happened right at the end of the session. Well, you won't believe it. Look at that little fella. That is a little grayling. And he was caught on a fly. <laughs> Job done. Achieved. I'm not sure if he counts. Does he count? Uh, oh, look, is his little fin. Let's get him back quick. I think you'll forgive me for feeling like I hadn't quite accomplished uh, what I set out to do. Um, so now you join me on a beautiful section of river, third time lucky for me to try and catch that stunning grayling that has so far eluded me. So it's actually the end of a session and um, it's been pretty epic, yeah, um, it's been great. As you saw before, struggled on the test a bit on the fly, um, only had a tiny, tiny little grayling. I'm fishing with bait, uh, so I'm trotting maggots and uh, yeah, we've, uh, we've had a few grayling. I've got Dan with me, I've got a big up Dan, um, he's, he's brought me here, <laughs> he's lent me a rod. Uh, I haven't done an awful lot of trotting. Uh, I'm a bit of a fish out of water and he's really shown me the way. Um, so I definitely wouldn't have uh, had the result I had today uh, if it wasn't for Dan, no doubt about that. So let me just take you through how I'm fishing. Uh, I've got a 15 foot rod, which for me just feels absolutely insane. You know, I don't really use rods that are much longer than about nine foot. So uh, 15 foot rod. Uh, is quite something. Um, I was waiting for my um, Corum Glide float rod to come through because whilst I haven't done a lot of trotting, I really do want to get into it. You know, um, it's a bit of my angling that's not great. Um, <laughs> well, non-existent really. Uh, so uh, I see people putting bags together of chub, trotting maggots and stuff like that. And I've always liked the idea of having a go and uh, yeah, I'm really, really excited to be doing it today. 15 foot rod. I took the centre pin off because <laughs> um, people are going to hate me for that, aren't they? But I put my axis reel on. Um, I've loaded that up with four pound line. Just got a cool little float there. There we are. And that's going down a couple of small shot down to a size 14 hook, I think. Uh, and yeah, you can probably tell this isn't this isn't, you know, the way I normally fish. This is new for me. Um, and I just wanna keep meaning to give it a go, trotting, you know. I can't believe I haven't really done much of it. And uh, I'm really, really looking forward to uh, doing it today. 
and uh, hopefully we'll pick up some grayling. Got one. You've got to be kidding me. Yeah. Oh my God, this is a better one. And sure enough, Dan's experience shone through as he got a couple of grayling before I virtually got a rod in the water. Yes! 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 yes. Holy oh, shit! It's oh massive! My God. It's massive! <laughs> oh my God! Yeah, got one. I got one. <laughs> yeah, don't know what, but I've got a fish. Don't know. I haven't got a clue. Hopefully, it's a grayling. Oh, I don't know yet. Ho oh, hum. Oh well. It's built my confidence up, if nothing else. So there we go, first fish. It's not the grayling I'm after, so I'm gonna slip him back. A lovely little brown trout though. Oh, got one. Oh, got one, I don't know what it is. Yeah. You know, I said down by my feet. I put it down by my feet. <laughs> uh, it's a trout. Yeah. Can't have the net in the water too long, can you? Had a few of these now, the grayling are evading me. Uh, lovely clean brown trout, but it's not what we're after. Still hunting for the grayling. Oh, these long rods take a bit of getting used to, I tell you. <laughs> I'm a bloke that uses nine foot rods a lot and, and, and smaller. Very weird undercurrents that pull the float under. Oh my god, uh, it came off. That was a bite. Right, we've got some fish here, which is great. Keep chucking a few maggots in. Definitely found a spot that's got some fish. I don't know if they're grayling. Obviously, I hope they are. But I'm getting a fairly steady stream of bites here. Struggling to convert them, mind. <sighs> Come on. Be <sighs> gentle. Be gentle. so gentle with this because I've worked so hard please be a grayling you know what I think it is as well 
try and fit stay on. Oh, make sure it doesn't get in there. It's tough in this flow, it really is. Oh, no wonder they've come off. They have to be so delicate. He's out the main flow. He's only a little one, but I'm over the moon with him. Oh no, look, the net's twisted round. Next, come loose. Oh no. Don't you dare come off. He's in. He's in. He's in. Oh, what a mess. But I've got a grayling. Oh, smash him. <laughs> oh, the net twisted round there at the end. It came loose in the flow. But we've got him. Been struggling, but we've got one in the end. Isn't he gorgeous? Um, not as big as the one Dan's had, but uh, it's a start. And I'm going to put him back. I hope for a bigger one this afternoon. So I might have a system here. Put the maggots in. Put that amongst the maggots and let it drop down. All right, got one. Whoa, whoa. That is a trout. Oh, it's quite a big one as well. Oh no! This isn't good on three pound lines. He's buried me probably in all this, isn't he? Oh shit, where is he? Oh no, he's still out in the river. Oh, you're all right to get him. I'll come over here. Oh my word. Yeah, he's a bit big. We can fly over here. Yeah. I'm real coming. I can't give it anymore because of the free pan leader. Get further and further down the river. Right, we've got a tree here, so we can't go any further. I don't even know if he's that big, it's hard to tell. You might, oh no, it's pulled. It's come off. That was a good one as well. To be honest, I had to stop it. I mean, we weren't, no, we weren't going to be able to go any further than yeah, this, were we? No, you're right, yeah. So, ah. No. Uh, oh, well. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, a little bit annoyed about losing that trout. I mean, I'm not here to fish for those anyway, but I hate losing fish. Bit of a nightmare like that. Uh, oh, yeah. That's cool. Ooh. Isn't it beautiful? Is it? Atlantic par salmon, they're called. Or salmon par. So I found a spot and had a few bites, but uh, after that trout I hooked, <laughs> unsurprisingly, I didn't really get anything else. So we're on the move. Have a quick go here, why not? Little trot through. It's a nice trot that actually. You can see me getting into this. This way of fishing. Um, I see other people doing it and having superb bags of chub and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I think I could get quite into it. And there we are, look. There's another little baby one. Absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? Just on a double wet, uh, white maggot. Lovely, it's getting back. Just 
just hitting some weed at the end of the run there, I think. Now one more trot through here. Really, really want this grayling. I mean, I've had one, but ideally I want a two pound plus, so you know. Not asking for much, come on. So look at this, how cool is this? Just come out onto this jetty. I'm just gonna have a flick around this pole. Fingers crossed, there'll be some grayling in it. You I get one. Oh, awesome! How awesome was that? Quite good. Quite a good trout. let him tire himself out. I need to go and find those grailing. Well, I think I'm going to have to go and look elsewhere for the grailing. There we go, he's popped up just as we want him to. Come on, keep coming, keep coming. There we go. Awesome. So again, not really what we're after, but uh, yeah, happy with that. It's a lovely fish. Stunning, stunning fish. Uh, I'm not going to mess about with it though. I'm going to put it back, see if we can get that decent grayling before the end of the session. Visual. Walked and walked. <laughs> Can't sit still. But then I'm going to go back to where I started. Settle in there for the last hour or so. And it does feel like that's where the grayling are. I've come a bit further downstream and there seems to be a lot of trout. I can see them. There's, there's quite a few. So I'm heading back. Something. Yeah, it's quite a flow on there, and there's some very thick weed as well. Come on, beer grinding. Yeah, it's a grayling, it's a good one. Yeah. Ready, quick, give it, give it a go. Got it, got it, got it. Go on, oh, you got it, yes, pal. Oh, what the <laughs> actual <laughs> I've got such golden balls. You bastard. <laughs> Mate, that's beautiful. And there we are. We got one in the end. They're a bit tricky to hold, but he's behaving now. What a stunning, stunning grayling. Really pleased with that. Just trotting maggots. 
absolutely over the moon with that. Absolutely chuffed a bit with that grayling. Not caught a proper one before, so you know what, Dan, what a guy. He says, come and fish this bit with me, I know. Here we are, lend you a rod. <laughs> uh, what a bloke, top man. Gonna see out the session in this swim. I mean, look at that. Can you see that? What a stunning, stunning day. What a lovely venue. So there we go, we got there in the end, third time lucky, uh, went to a stunning venue and caught a beautiful, beautiful grayling uh, and was absolutely over the moon. So thanks again to everyone for getting us to 5,000 subscribers. Well done to Mark. We'll make sure that that reel's whisked off to you uh, very soon. That's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please like and subscribe and all that stuff. Until the next one, look after yourselves and be lucky. Thank you